Last time on So You're Dating a Vegan. We are going to make a bacon, egg, and cheese, but vegan. Yes. We're using the scientific method to bring you the breakfast sandwich of your dreams. We tested five brands of store-bought bacon with our own homemade rice paper bacon. I'm eating this whole thing right now. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to compare two egg replacements and taste test three brands of vegan cheese. Hold on to your butt. All right, so now we're gonna try our vegan egg replacement. Yes. This is vegan egg from Follow Your Heart. It's a product that's supposed to be just like scrambled eggs. Like you're mm. supposed to cook it up and it's supposed to have like the texture of the feel of scrambled eggs. Yeah. So I'm excited for you to try it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Again, um, being pescatarian, I still eat eggs mm -hmm. and I love eggs. Mm -hmm. So get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. But look at these cute little chickies. <laughs> okay. I oh, know. The poor chickies. So I'm curious to see how it's going to taste because uh -huh. that and cheese I have not been able to replace. Yeah, this stuff's a little weird. Yeah, it's a little weird. <laughs> All right. You'll see. For me, as long as it tastes great, I don't care how it looks. Uh -huh. <laughs> here you go. Here's some eggs. Oh. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting like a fake egg. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I love the word whisk. Something about it. it. Smells like eggs, but it looks like pancakes. Yeah. We added a special ingredient to make the vegan egg even eggier. Kala namak, also known as black salt. We found ours at an Indian grocery store. Oh, tastes like egg y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's salty. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the second kind of egg replacement we tried was tofu scramble. So do big blocks, you know, big chunks. Did you already kind of like do too small of a chunks? I don't know. This is gonna be in a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, so you don't want it to be too crumbly. Okay. Since tofu has very little flavor on its own, we added a spice mix. Break it. Don't break it, Liz. Don't break up the tofu. Otherwise, I will be in trouble with Duncan. Ah, it's giving it that egg color now. Mm-hmm. It's turmeric. After trying them both, we decided we liked the flavor of the tofu scramble, but preferred the texture of the vegan egg. So we made another batch of the vegan egg with the spices mixed in. This is definitely much, much better. Cheese? Yeah, let's try the cheeses. Mm -hmm. cheese. You want to start with the tofu -di? So this yeah. comes in like the little singles, like individual snack bits. I'm you know? curious. <laughs> Doesn't taste like American cheese. <laughs> okay. Not a fan of that one. It kind of tastes like, you know when you go to a swimming pool and it's got a lot of chlorine? <laughs> what? I don't know, man. I think American cheese, just as a starting point, is pretty gross. So that's not totally different. <laughs> <laughs> We're not having the same American cheese, buddy. <laughs> Ciao. Creamy original. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't real cheese? No. Oh my God. I know, this is my favorite. I don't know if it's necessarily like the orangey American cheese. No, but so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Kind of makes you wonder. Like, is this, is this real? <laughs> like, is this, What's happening? Is this really vegan or? Right. <laughs> Last we have follow your heart American slices. Follow your heart. Good coloring. I like this one. Yeah. It's got the subtlest <laughs> of American cheese yeah. flavor. Like, subtlest. Yeah, it's like a hint of mac and cheese. Chow is my favorite, but bacon and cheese for me is always with American cheese. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, that looks like a masterpiece. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot wait to eat that. Or do you want ketchup or mayo? Oh no, you yeah, don't no. eat bacon and cheese with ketchup or mayo. Yeah. You're not a true New Yorker if you do. <laughs> Ketchup is maybe okay, but that's about it. I wanted mayo on mine. You're <laughs> absurd. Okay, Cisco, do you want to pick your bacon bits out? Okay. So this is the Upton's and that's the rice paper. So I'm doing half and half. The rice paper, which is my favorite one. And then Upton's, which I also love. Ah, oh, yes. 
This is exactly what bacon, egg, and cheese at a deli looks like. A lot of bacon, a lot of eggs, a lot of cheese. <laughs> Mmm, I love it. This is actually a great replacement. Like, I could do this and not miss real bacon and cheese. I think tasting it on here, I think the rice bacon tastes a little bit better than the Upton's. Mm-hmm. The rice bacon tastes like bacon. Like, it has that bacon punch, that savory, mm -hmm. crunchy part, which is what makes bacon and cheese so amazing. It's savory and crunchy. So. You're not a New Yorker if you like ketchup on this? <laughs> I am from Arkansas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Just know we will be judging you. <laughs> you want some honey? Hell no. Oh, now you're playing it cool. <laughs> now you're all street, huh? <laughs> Liz from Westchester. <laughs> this is one of those dishes that like gets better the more you bite into it, I think. Yeah. Like the deeper into the heart of it you go. Yeah, it's missing a little bit of the deli grease. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Should we just pour some oil on it? Mm-hmm. You need to you need to have like <laughs> fried it on a skillet that a million things have been mm -hmm. fried on. Or even fry not fried but um put um vegan butter on on the bagel. Mm hmm And then put Ooh, this yeah. over it. Oh yeah. Yeah. So if you were gonna do bacon, egg and cheese vegan style at home mm -hmm. after this trial and error process what would you do i'll definitely do the rice paper i'll definitely um get the vegan american cheese mm -hmm. um which was follow, your, follow heart. your heart yeah great substitute i'm still iffy about the egg yeah because that process was a little bit longer <laughs> yeah. so I, I don't know i might go with a regular egg with the yeah. tofu yeah, or the tofu. What I want to try now too, because I love bacon. Well, you still love bacon. Um, I want to try that and wrap it on in asparagus because I love asparagus wrap prosciutto. Ooh, that's a good idea. And I feel like with this, with the seasoning we did for the rice paper, wrap that on asparagus, it'll it'll be amazing. You were saying earlier that your um, your family's not very supportive of the uh, pescatarian. Adventure. No, no, they, they, they are. It's just that they're not gonna probably change themselves. You were saying that they wouldn't even cook one veggie dish for Thanksgiving. They'll probably just do a side salad, which is what they always do. Uh -huh. Basically, my mom was like, well, you're gonna have to bring your own dish. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully it's popular. What are you gonna make? Them. I don't know yet. Um, at this point, Have you I don't, done like a meatloaf or something like that? No, that's too much work. I don't have <laughs> something simple and quick. Well, if any of you guys have any favorite Thanksgiving dishes that you want to suggest to Francisco, let us know. Please yes. do. Include links to recipes. Yes. Francisco needs your help. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'll let you guys know how that goes too. And you know, hopefully my family loves it and enjoys it. Yes. Um, again, I doubt they'll turn pescatarian or vegan, but hey, did you ever think you shot. would be pescatarian? This is true. Literally a year ago, I'm a big Parks and Recreation fan. Literally a year ago, I was thinking of myself as Ron Swanson. Uh -huh. Whereas like, that's the food, vegetable is like the food that my food eats. <laughs> it's like, no, I would never, ever, ever, ever go on a, a plant-based diet. Thanks so much for coming on. Uh, Thanks thank for you suggesting guys. this. Oh, of course, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do we have more bacon left over? A little bit, yeah. Yes. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>